Marigold bug spray. How do you make homemade marigold bug spray with the marigolds? I just grew some marigold plants in my aquaponics system. I've been growing them for the last three, four, five months. And today I decided to harvest and use the flowers to make a bug spray. I'm gonna talk you through how to make this bug spray. And then we're gonna look at the plant stalks, the leftover roots, talk about what I do with that. But let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Like, subscribe, share, hit the bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. And if you want to support me, join the channel. If you want to learn about aquaponics, definitely want to join because I have private videos for my members. That way they can learn how to build the system, maintain how I add fertilizer, feeding the fish. It's a circulating system with fish as the engine. And then I have plants that eat the delicious food inside the aquaponics system that is made from the nitrogen cycle. So let's go and get started. So it's very easy. I had some marigold plants here. I'm gonna show you those stalks in just a minute. Harvested the flowers. Take the flowers and, and water and add it to a blender. Then let it pulse for two or three few seconds. And then after that, you add it to a jar like this. And then you let it set in a cool, dark place for a couple days. Once you get done, you take it you strain it with some cheesecloth, you get all the liquid out, and then you can use a pump sprayer. Make sure you use a strainer, you use some cheesecloth, you strain out the flour material, you just get the liquid, that way you don't put it in your fogger, I'm not fogger, but your pump sprayer with the flour material and then it gets stopped up, something like that. It's not a very good solution that way. So make sure you get as much liquid as possible, then add six to eight cups of water, boom! You got a homemade bucket. Now I'm using this Petra Tools fogger, which is super nice, but it's electric. So if you're doing an outdoor garden, it's not indoors and you have a far distance, you might not have as much extension cord, but if you want to use something really cool like this, definitely check out Petra Tools. But if not, you can use a five gallon sprayer. You can use a one and a half gallon sprayer, whatever sprayer you have. So that's how you make the bug spray. It's super easy, rewind the video. If you need to know more, let's move forward. Let's go ahead and look at these stalks. Look at that. Look how large that stock is, man. Oh, wow. Look at that. Whoa! Look at that, look at those roots, man. Huge, huge. Covering that raft. So there's a stalk right here, stalk right here stock right there there were three plants in here now I'm gonna to talk to you about where I got the seeds so you know I'm growing a lot of different things in here now a lot of different types of vegetables we got kale we got tomatoes I just planted a bunch of different things there I've got lavender I planted jalapenos bell peppers I think squash we got a bunch of tomatoes here we got some beans look at those beans man those beans are healthy and happy got the fish so I get the seeds at Johnny's Johnny's select seeds got the echinacea purple cone flower looking beautiful so yeah very easy to maintain this system very easy all right let me show you Johnny's select selected seeds that right there is the website johnnyseeds.com and that's where I get all of my seeds. Romaine lettuce. Very easy to make your homemade bug spray. Links in the description if you wanna learn more about Marigold's benefits and its uses. It's very beneficial in keeping away insects, nematodes, and people plant Marigold's right next to their tomatoes, right in their gardens. You can make bug spray. The leaves are very beneficial in teas, salves, lotions, all kinds of different uses. Hope you liked the video, hope you learned something, and I hope this video is going to help you to be able to make your own bug spray out of marigolds or grow the plants, get the seeds. Let me know where you're from, let me know who you are. I really appreciate you as a viewer, a subscriber. Definitely click the like button. That way this algorithm definitely shows my video to more people. That way more people that want to learn about growing, being more self-sufficient, self-reliant, self-sustainable, they will have a way to see my video and learn more about aquaponics. Thanks for watching. This is Taddy with Taddy Digest on how to make a marigold bug spray. Thank you so much.
And don't forget to water your plants.